All right, this is going to be a pretty quick video today on how to use an RS-232 uh, console port on a Dell Power Connect switch. Uh, this is a managed switch. Um, they're very cheap and inexpensive right now. Um, I know that console ports and serial ports are uh, definitely kind of a thing of the past. Everything's moving to RJ45 with web portals, but uh, there's still a lot of enterprise equipment out there still using um, 232 ports. So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use a Mac using terminal to uh, console into your equipment. Let's get started. So first you will need a uh, Null modem cable. It's gonna, usually going to be a female to female DB9 connector, and then also you're going to want a USB uh, to a uh, DB9 male. Um, here's uh, the one that I have. Links in the descriptions for both of these off of Amazon. Uh, fairly inexpensive. Always great to have in your collection of uh, uh, adapters. Go ahead and plug in the serial into the switch and then the other end into your Mac. Uh, power up the router or the switch. Uh, give it a few minutes to boot and then you're going to launch terminal. Go ahead and type in screen space forward slash dev to get into our devices folder and then you're going to type in TTY period and then hit tab. And this is going to give you all of the devices um, and obviously what you can do is you could unplug your uh, USB port, do this command, see what devices you have available, plug the device back in, uh, redo the command, and then you'll see the one that's been added. So obviously we know this one is going to be the USB serial, so you can just type in U, tab, it'll autofill it, and then you're going to hit return. And now you've created a session, and so this uh, switch that I have from Dell is a uh, factory reset so if you look in the manual you're gonna look type in admin password name is gonna be admin and you're in uh, now I'll link this specific model the 5224 uh, PDF into the description a uh, lot of great information Dell on their enterprise equipment has a lot of good documentation so by default this is gonna be set up to DHCP and so if you want to find out what IP address your network has assigned to this, you can type in show IP interface and enter. And now we know the uh, IP address is 10.0.0.136. And we can go over and open up a new web browser. So it's going to ask for username and password again. Admin, admin. I've had this problem before. The browser doesn't render it. The first time I don't think it's uh, the CSS is cached so we just hit reload so there you have it a very simple web GUI you can obviously completely configure your switch using the command line or you could at least uh, get in and, and change the IP address from static or DHCP um, or maybe you were uh, locked out of it and you need to uh, reset the firmware you would want to use that with a console port so I hope you enjoyed the simple video using a Mac uh, with Terminal.